All right, dude, we're gonna, what are we gonna draw today? A rattlesnake. All right, sweet. Yeah. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. We've been doing a lot of coloring this week, huh? Mm -hmm. With the kids. Yeah. And we've been having a lot of fun, but we, we had to do another drawing today. Yeah. Yeah, and we wanted to draw a really cool snake. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We're going to start with the snake's head up here at the top left. And we're going to start with the... Uh, horizontal. Horizontal. Yeah, with the paper horizontal. You ready? Horizontal. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with the snake's mouth. And it's going to be over here. And we're going to draw a line that comes down and kind of curls at the end. Rattlesnakes kind of look like they're smiling for some reason. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the bottom part of his mouth that comes down and then kind of curls up at the end. Good job. And I'm going to draw the top just a little bit longer. Okay, all right. Now we're going to draw, we're going to draw the little skin on the side of his mouth right here. When they open up, they got this little skin that stretches. Then we're going to, you got it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to draw the, his teeth and they've got this little kind of gum part on their teeth right there that their teeth come out of. And then I'm going to draw another, well, let's draw his tooth first and we're going to draw or his fang that comes out and then back up. Good job. You want to make sure that those are look sharp. And then we're going to draw his other tooth that's behind it so he looks 3D. And then draw that other thing that comes down and then back up. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the back of his mouth. And it's going to come down and then be just like the other line. And then come into the bottom right here. Okay. So come down first. And then stop and then curl down and then in into the bottom. Awesome. Okay, now let's draw his tongue that's going to come out of his mouth like he's trying to taste something or smell something. Okay, and then we'll draw another line right next to it. And then when it comes down here, we'll split him. Whoa, that's a crazy tongue. <laughs> Whoa, that is a big tongue. And then we're going to do a little V right <laughs> here. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. So you don't have to color mint, or if you want to, you can color it in. I'm going to go ahead and color it all in. It looks like he's really tasting something. Good job, dude. I like it. Got it? Oh, you're coloring them in. Keep going. Good job, dude. Okay, awesome. Okay, you could even color in that little part right there. All right, okay, now we're gonna do the top of his nose. And we're gonna do a little hook that comes up and then down. And then we're going to do the top of his eye. Like that. There's a little eye in there. And then we're gonna do the back of his head and it's going to come out and then kind of a little bump too. Good job. And we're going to do the bottom of his mouth, so a little, little hook like that, and it's just going to come back. So these aren't going to touch though. So. Awesome. Sweet, dude. Okay, now, let's, should we do his eye? Mm -hmm. So do a little curved line right here inside that first bump and then a curved line underneath for his eye and then put the snake eye in there <laughs> then we can do a nostril sweet okay now let's do his body all right so we're gonna bring this line way back here and then curve it down all the way let's keep going we'll go all the way down like that Curve it down. Good job. Okay, now this line is going to do 
kind of the same thing. So we're gonna stay parallel. So we're staying parallel to that other line that we just drew and it's gonna come down and then stop down here. Good job. Okay, now let's make his belly line. And we're gonna start right here at his head, come out and then curl in to this line, but you wanna make sure that that line comes in smooth. Good job. And then we're gonna do a little line right here for the back of his body that's really close to that side. Good. We kind of made him really wide right there. That's all right. Okay, now we can draw the bottom like he's coiled up. So we're going to do a line that comes just curved. And we can draw it really pretty big. So we're going to just curve a line. And this is going to be for his coil, like he's coiled up, ready to attack something. And we'll bring these lines back into his body in just a sec. Okay, now let's draw a line right below that one that's very that's almost the same. So same kind of curve. Good job. And then we're gonna curve the ends so it looks round. Good. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do his tail coming out, his rattlesnake. His rattle tail. And we're gonna curve two lines coming out of this coil. Okay, and then we can put a little V to connect those two. And we're gonna draw a line coming out of that V. And then this is gonna be his rattle. So watch this, here we go. We're gonna draw a line that comes out and then curves in and do that on the other side. And then we're gonna do another one and stack these on top of each other to make his rattle. That's why they're called rattlesnakes, huh? Yeah. Because they shake this little part on the end of their tail and it makes this rattling noise and that's how you know that you're in trouble. Because <laughs> it sees you and it's really angry. All right, okay, now let's connect these. We can connect these back in to finish off, connect him into his body. And then we can also draw, should we draw another coil? Sure. Let's draw another coil. So we'll do a big curved line that kind of comes up. Behind, it's gonna be behind his tail. And then it's gonna, we're gonna imagine it coming through and then back down like that. Kind of looks like he's tied in a knot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it's good. I like it. So I just kind of curved it back in. All right, dude. Let's put some designs on his body. Should we do diamonds? Sure. There is such thing as a diamond back, and they have this pattern on the back of their bodies that look like diamonds. I'm going to do diamonds up here on his neck. Okay, and then I'm gonna do little ones right here on the side, coming down. And then we could do some back here. You can kind of imagine them coming behind the, behind his uh, tail. There we go. Dude, that is awesome. We got one more thing. Oh, keep going. Do a couple more diamonds. You could do some right here. Do some right there if you want. Awesome. Okay, let's finish his belly. And we're going to do contour lines on the bottom of his belly. And if you do them curved like this, then it's going to make his belly look round and 3D and not flat. You see that? Yeah. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. That is what's called a contour line. We say that word a lot. And a contour line makes it look like it has shape or form. Dude, that is one awesome looking rattlesnake. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your awesome, cool rattlesnakes with us. 
and be sure to leave a comment and like the video below and also you can feel free to ask us questions we thought every once in a while we'll we'll look at the comments in the bottom of our videos and if there's a question that we think would be cool to answer we're gonna answer it in our next video that be fun yeah all right we'll see you later our friends, Bye, our friends. goodbye